Good morning. So we've just arrived in Cheddar. Um, this is the map of the whole site of the area. Um, you can see you've got some walking routes that you can go on. Um, it tells you how long it will take you and how many miles and stuff like that. So there's a few bits of information on this one. This is located in the car park. Um, as you can see here um, but it's next to the Riverside Inn cafe so it was £3.50 to park for four hours or £5 for a day so a few of the local shops we've got the cheddar cakery and the fish and chip shop here so here we have a few more local shops as you can see you've got a gift shop here kebab house <laughs> there's always a kebab house Indian restaurant and another car park we've got a hundred flavors of ice cream wow could we try all that in one day cute little yellow building this one here is the genuine cheddar cider cheese cafe and gift shop I'll be on the lash one thing I really liked the most about cheddar when we came here last time um, with Josh was how cute the village was like I don't know if it's called a village or whatever would you say it's a village yeah, yeah. It's, um, it's how cute everything was like all the shops are quite small and like it's very picturesque and very calming there's like water flowing throughout the whole like village area um, and you're surrounded by greenery, there's birds swinging around and it feels like you're in a little hidden sort of paradise good, right? Oh come on here and here, if you can see, if we zoom in, there are some mountain goats He's looking directly at the camera, I'm not even joking There are two mountain goats There are two mountain goats Is there any facts about mountain goats we should know? Someone needs to tell them that gravity exists. Yeah. Because I've seen some of them on like two degree angles and it just don't look right. <laughs> um, they can live up to whatever amount of goat years they live up to. Yeah. They've got fur. <laughs> they produce milk. You can make that into goat's milk or cheese. Yeah. Some of them have got horns. And most importantly, some of them are even in cheddar. Yeah. <laughs> Goats. So there's a fun fact for you all. Fun little fact, there you go. We have found, you would never guess, another ice cream shop. So one of the things I've actually seen um, online when I've kind of watched videos on things to do in cheddar is the actual dog bakery. Um, we didn't see this last time we came. I wouldn't bring Bruno to a place like this because he's not a very well behaved dog. So it wouldn't be fair on anyone to bring him. But yeah, this is the dog bakery. You can actually take your dog in. Um, they've got dog snacks and gifts and all sorts of stuff like that. We've just found the Cheddar Cave um, tourist desk. We're going to try and find out if you can book tickets for today to go in and see Goss Cave and show you guys around all the caves of Cheddar Gorge, basically. Um, it says on here it's £22.95 to do that. Um, so we're going to see if they've got any availability today and just basically do a really spontaneous sort of tour of the cave. So yeah, looking forward to it actually. So the ticket store it's located opposite the dog bakery um, and it's open 10 till 5 so let's go there's been success we've managed to get tickets to go in how many caves two caves two caves um, and, jacob's ladder. and jacob's ladder so yeah we've got our tickets now i don't really know how it works to be honest with you um i feel like you just basically follow the path and you're allowed to get into the cave entrances so the first one we actually come across is, is uh cox's cave so I don't know how we get in. <laughs> Do we just sort of scan it? So it's unmanned, so maybe basically we go there at the end or? Does it look open? So what we do is we will start yeah. at the top of the cave sort of thing and then work our way down. Yeah? If you're wondering, I'm sorry, my face is like taking over all the screen time. Um, this is what Cox's cave looks like. I feel like they're short staff today, so maybe once we're finished we'll go to the shop and then they'll let us in. Um, so yeah, there are bats in the cave. It's probably going to be dark, it's probably going to be a bit damp. Um, but it's going to be an experience and I'm really looking forward to it, so yeah. <laughs> dun, 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 dun. So we've got another David Attenborough moment, so explain Jack. <laughs> Water. Wow. That's it. That's it. <laughs> So we've just made it to Goff's cave. No going back. So we have just passed the ticket entrance and are on our way into the cave. This is one of the first caves that we're going to be doing today. Um, we've actually got an audio guide thing which we can listen to facts about the caves. Um, so hopefully we can pick up a few facts about it um, and learn a few things along the way. a 
pretty cool little dip in the case, you can see. Pretty unique, interesting. Um, the audio tour is actually really, really helpful and it does talk quite descriptive about how all of this is formed and everything, so it's really, really cool. All you do is you use this little audio clip, you just scan the Wi-Fi bit and you listen. Static tights. I'd want it hang from the ceiling because they're hanging on tight. Yeah. And static mites, I'd want that raised from the floor with all their might. Oh, with yeah. all their might. So we've just been and visited, if that's the right word again, Goth Cave. Um, it's very educational, very fun, very claustrophobic. So if you're not into that sort of environment, then avoid. But it is really good value for money. We're about to attempt Jacob's Ladder, which is 267 steps. So yeah, we're gonna attempt it. Um, I feel like it'll warm us up because it's literally pretty cold. It's in January, it's like four degrees. So this will hopefully warm up our day. Jack's happy, he's just had a little bit of cheddar cheese. So gonna nibble that all the way up to the top. So this is Jacob's Ladder and Tower. Let's do this. Two we're steps done. up and we're done. I know what you're all thinking. Have I just finished the half marathon or the full marathon? No, just finished Jacob's Ladder Steps and uh, there's more. If you want to get the full experience, <laughs> then you have to climb more steps. Let's see what the view's like from there. You can see where Jeg's, uh, Jeg that's legs and Jack combined, where Jack's legs are shaking. <laughs> Da -da -da. Da -da -da. We are finally at the top of Jacob's Ladder and Jacob's Tower. I hope I've got that right. So let's see what the views are like. It's very pretty. The sun is a proper like nice winter weather. sun, yeah. And Bristol, home sweet home, is 24 kilometers away this way. And Cardiff, 35 kilometer, which is probably somewhere over there. The view seems to look a lot more better on my iPhone for some reason, so I'm going to show you an actual better footage on here. There we go. And that is the view down the ladder, if you're interested in seeing that. And there's Jack taking some pictures, admiring the view. We are now taking a walk across Cheddar Cliffs. The views are amazing. The best time of year, personally for me, to go out walking and exploring is literally January, February, March sort of time because it's quiet everywhere you go, it's peaceful, there are less people around. So I don't know if you can see that, but the view in the background is just like perfectly hazed with sunshine and it's like two o'clock in the afternoon. So yeah, the views are amazing from this viewpoint. Still got a little bit more higher to go and we haven't seen any goats yet. So we're gonna try and capture a few goats. I spoke to a guy in the shop where we had a tea earlier 
and um, he said there's a few baby goats hanging around. They don't normally happen this time of year, but there are a couple hanging around and um, they've had some more earlier this year. So normally around March, April, he said you see lots of them. I'm almost at the top of the cliff. It's hard work. Jack's given up. He's uh, back halfway. I haven't seen any goats like the whole way up here. So I don't know where they are. I don't even know why I'm trying to talk when I'm completely out of breath. I do this every time. So this is like a halfway point kind of view. Basically, this is going to be probably as best a view I'm going to get today. The cheddar cheese factory closes at four and the last time you can view is like three, half three. It's already 20 past two, so I'm hoping by the time we get down here, we can quickly race there and catch that. I haven't seen any goats up close, but we have seen them. So I guess it's one of those things, if you're lucky, you see them. If you're not, unlucky for today this is it this is as good as it's gonna get as you can see the sun's still pretty hazy all the way through the trees there and um, my camera's actually dying so i'm gonna record a little bit here and there as i can but as you can see that the actual groundwork to go up the cliffs is actually really slippery and muddy <laughs> Uh, cliff walk we are now at the cheddar gorge cheese company we're going to try and see if we can pay to watch them make some cheese for you guys i'm hoping we haven't missed the like last time you can do it i hope it closes at half past three but this is what the building looks like it's literally on the high street of cheddar village um the back of it looks a little bit like this so it does shut at three o'clock so unfortunately we won't be able to show you guys that today but we will show you what it looks like inside whilst we're here and see if we can get some fresh cheese finishing the day off with some fish and chips in the car because absolutely freezing full tray of chips salt and vinegar and a pot of curry sauce let's go so this has been my day spent in Cheddar Gorge. I really hope you guys enjoyed watching us explore everything, what we got up to today. It didn't go fully to plan, but I hope you guys get the gist of how amazing this little village is and all the possibilities you can do whilst you're here. So my camera's literally dying soon, um, but I just thought I'd end the vlog here. I hope you guys enjoyed watching this type of video and I hope to see you all again in my next adventure. Bye.